Hi, I'm Director of Education Nell Anderson, and I'm here today to tell you about some of the steps that the Wausau School District has taken over the years to balance its budget and how changes to our district's demographics are creating greater complexity as we work to provide an educational program that meets the needs, the learning needs, of all our students. Let me give you some background concerning the over $23 million in budget reductions the Wausau School District has made since revenue caps were enacted. Since public schools have long been supported by local property taxes, legislators tied property tax relief to school funding at the state level. In 1993, revenue caps were put in place to slow the growth of school spending. Now, when the state legislator established these revenue caps, the Wausau School District had to make significant reductions to its operating budgets. During the period of 1993 to 94 to 2002-2003, the district trimmed a cumulative amount of over $8 million from its operating budgets. In 2003, the district contracted with Virtual Krauss and Company to conduct a functional analysis of district programs and provide a range of ideas for budgetary, budgetary reductions the district might consider. The final VK report, made in September of 2003, presented 40 items for consideration. This list, at its maximum impact, would have saved the district a little less than $6 million. Since 2003, 32 of the 40 reduction ideas presented in the report have been acted upon, either in full or in part. An example of a partial action of one of these ideas was the recommendation to eliminate summer school busing. Instead of eliminating the busing for summer school, we now only pick up students at neighborhood schools and do not have the routes that go through the neighborhoods. Summer school is an important learning opportunity, and we felt getting the students to schools was a priority. Since presentation of the VK report, the district has made reductions totaling almost $15 million, a figure over twice as much as was indicated for consideration by the VK functional analysis report. Over time, balanced budgets have been created by making reductions that would have the least impact on student learning in our schools. But every year, these reductions get closer and closer to the classroom. Since over 80% of the district's budget is tied to personnel, salaries, and benefits, it's not surprising that as the years have gone by, we are closer to balancing the budget by reducing people and programs than ever before. An important component to consider when thinking about the historical perspective of the district's budget, planning, and reductions is the continuing changes to our demographics. Our enrollment has been decreasing since the late 1990s. The district's student population peaked during the 97-98 school year. Since that time, our K-12 enrollment has dropped over 1,300 students. In the last five years, high school enrollment has decreased, while preschool, elementary, and middle school enrollments have leveled off. The district's collaborative four-year-old kindergarten program serves 94% of eligible district four-year-olds. The addition of 4K has increased our student count, which increases state aid. We have seen shifts in the district's ethnic enrollment as the percentage of Asian students has decreased, but percentages of black, Hispanic, and Native American students are growing. Today, Wausau students speak 37 different languages in their homes, yet our English language learner population is decreasing as students move successfully through the ELL program. Our special education program continues to serve the needs of the students with disabilities. The percentage of students in special education programming holds steady at about 12 percent. Perhaps the most telling changes in demographics is the increase in WASA students utilizing the, free, the federal free and reduced lunch program. The number of participating students has grown from 26 percent during the 2000-2001 school year to 46 percent now a decade later. All of these demographic changes have impacts, large and small, on district programs and budget. It, as we look at what our priorities are to ensure that quality education and teaching and learning is maintained, the composition of our student population must be considered so that our decisions help every child receive the education they need to be successful. The district again faces significant reductions to balance its 2011-12 school budget. We realize that these decisions must be made in a short time frame without the benefit of an overarching plan for the future of the district. 
We want to assure you that this plan is just months away and that leaders from all parts of the district will be working together to make our strategic directions engagement conference a success. This endeavor is a first step in determining what is most important to all of us as a district and as a broader community. The conference will be the prelude for important future planning, including decisions that must be made about the fiscal strengths of our district and our schools. Right now, you have the opportunity to help us with your important thoughts around balancing the district's budget in 2011-12. We encourage you to be involved in these budget deliberations by participating in the staff discussion sessions being held in your school during February. Your participation today helps the district meet its goal of developing a 2011-12 budget proposal that can be presented to the school board on April 11, 2011 at that school board meeting. Thanks again for your time. Please look for the next video in our series, Dispelling the Myths, coming soon.